Today we will discuss the next reactive intermediate in organic chemical reaction that is the nitrine. So nitrine is very much similar to the carbene and it is the nitrogenous analog of carbene. And nitrines are monovalent nitrogen species and it contains no charge. And it, it is electron deficient since as in carbene here also there are six electrons around the nitrogen atom. And it is acting as an electrophile due to the electron deficiency. And the nitrines are highly reactive and involved in chemical reaction to attain the eight electron configuration. Now the structure of the nitrine as in the case of carbene. Nitrine have two structures that is a singlet and triplet. Singlet exists in sp2 hybridization whereas the triplet exists in sp hybridization. In singlet the non-bonded electron pair exists in an sp2 hybridized orbital and both of them are paired. So there is no unpaired electron in singlet state whereas in triplet state the non-bonded electron exists in unhybridized p orbital and they are unpaired and triplet state is more stable than that of singlet state because the sing triplet state have lower in energy and less steric hindrance less repulsive forces exist in the triplet state and triplet state have uh, the higher lifetime and while we are comparing the carbenes and nitrines, the nitrines have higher energy and the difference between the singlet and triplet have higher energy than that of carbene. This is mainly due to we know that the electronegativity of the nitrogen is greater than that of carbene. And so due to the higher electronegativity of the nitrogen, the electron hold its non-bonded pair of electron towards the nucleus of the nitrogen. And any electron donating substituent enhances the electron density around the nitrogen atom. So thus we can stabilize the nitrine. Next is the generation of the nitrine. We know that there are several methods for the generation of the nitrine. These are the some of the method for the generation of nitrine. First one we can generate the nitrine from acids or from sulfenyl amines or from nitro and nitroso compound or due to the alpha elimination reaction. Let us discuss the individual reaction in detail. First is the nitrine from acid. We know that the acid are highly unstable and azide undergo alpha elimination due to the photochemical reaction and to form the acyl nitrine. So here in this example acyl acide and alkyl acide both of them are highly stable and undergo the photochemical reaction and to form corresponding nitride. Acyl, acyl azide give acyl nitrine and alkyl azide give alkyl nitrine. Now the next method is generation of the nitrine from sulfenyl amine. We know that the sulfenyl amine are highly unstable. It easily decomposes while we are heating and to form the phenyl nitrine and sulfur monoxide. See here in this example sulf sulfenyl amine is present. Sulfenyl amine undergo the decomposition presence of heat and to form pH and uh, phenyl nitrine and sulfur monoxide. So next is the alpha elimination reaction. So due to the alpha elimination reaction here we can see that this compound is highly unstable. So the first of all the base will pick out one of the hydrogen and to form a carbanion and the carbanion exists in nitrogen so it, the the structure consisting of easily liberating group like OSO2 so it will easily liberate the living group and to form a carbene 
Next is the nitrine from amide and nitro compound. So amide, for example, N bromo amide will give acyl nitrine by treating by acid. So as sorry base. So base will pick out the hydrogen from bromo amide and bromine is simultaneously eliminated from the nitrogen atom. So it forms the nitrine. So similarly we can reduce the nitro compound with trialkyl phosphite and to form the nitri nitri nitrines. Next method, next is the reactions of nitrine. Usually nitrines forms, you, nitrines undergo three different type of reaction. First one is addition reaction, second one is rearrangement reaction, third one is the reinsertion reaction. So let us discuss the reactions in detail. First of all, the nitrine is added in the multiple bonded organic compound and to form a cyclic compound. So this, this addition reaction is common for carbene and nitrine. So next is the rearrangement reaction. So nitrine undergo the rearrangement and to give a, a alkyl iso, isocyanate. See here in which the alkyl group is shifted towards nitrogen and to form an alkyl isocyanate. And it is this rearrangement is involved in very famous Curtis and Hoffman rearrangement reaction. Next is the insertion reaction. As the name indicate the nitrine is inserted in between CC bond or CH bond. Here the uh, nitrine is inserted in between carbon and hydrogen and we, and we will get this product. I hope that you understood the structure of the nitrine, different method for the generation of nitrine and reactions of nitrine. Thank you.